hello guys welcome back and in this video we are going to demonstrate warm vertical condensation technique of obturation till now we have already covered the excess cavity preparation and biomechanical preparation now in this video lecture we'll be starting with a obturation technique and this video is a demonstration of warm vertical condensation technique which is also known as warm gutta percha technique of filling the root canals now this technique is introduced by shilder with the object of filling the lateral canals accessory canals as well as the main root canal after the biomechanical preparation we have packed the tooth with a temporary restorative material now we gain access to the root canal orifice and this access to the root canal orifice to the root apex it should be continuous tapering for the warm vertical condensation technique so root canal should be prepared such that the gutta percha flows into the original canal the shape of the apical foramina should not be changed and we keep it as small as practically possible so that gutta percha will not be forced into the canal during a warm vertical condensation technique so in this warm vertical condensation technique generally we used heated pluggers and this pluggers apply pressure in the vertical direction and it softens the gutta percha once we soften the gutta percha it flows into the canal and fills the entire lumen of the canal so we check the canals with the last in instrument our master apical file we check with the, all the canals with a master apical file we confirm the working length and in all the canals so before beginning with a gutta percha we check with a master apical file which is fitted into the canal and afterwards we proceed with a primary gutta percha cone so with the help of a single cone technique we place a single cone heat it and fit it into the canal basically this is the warm vertical condensation technique so a primary gutta percha cone which is corresponding to the last instrument which is fitted into the canal and we fit till the working length so we take the gutta percha till the working length as the last instrument and we coat this gutta percha with a root canal sealer so with a root canal sealer as you can see coated this gutta percha is coated with a root canal sealer and it is fitted into the canal now this primary gutta percha cone or the master cone is seated up till the working length of the canal and do we do it with all the canals so the other canal the, this is also again a primary canal we take the primary gutta percha cone or the master cone we seat it up till the working length with coated with a thin layer of root canal sealer so that's how we fit this master cone or primary cone and we seat it with a till the working length now generally with the help of a root canal plugger we heat it and we pack this gutta percha but in this particular video lecture we are going to use the obturation pen for this warm vertical condensation technique so instead of a hand plugger for warm vertical condensation technique we are going to take a system which is our obturation pen system to use this warm vertical condensation technique or you can also take a heat carrier such as a root canal plugger you can heat it and force into the coronal third of the gutta percha either you can take a plugger a heated plugger or you can use a system to do so so in this demonstration we are using a obturation pen for this warm vertical condensation technique of obturation so this is a obturation pen this is the waldent obturation pen and the nozzle you can slightly loosen it up use the wrench in a counter clockwise direction you can then insert the tip according to the size and taper then close the nozzle using a clockwise direction once you have inserted the needle tip so closing the nozzle in the clockwise direction and 
slightly loosen the nozzle in a counterclockwise direction you can use the wrench to loosen it up and tighten it up length of the pen tip is going to be 4 to 6 millimeter short of the working length so mark the length using a rubber stopper and keep it 4 to 6 millimeter short of the working length the proper pen tip and proper plugger should be selected and the length of the tip should be 4 to 6 millimeter short of the working length there are modes you can see depending on the tip sizes so we have f for extra fine tip fm for fine tip m for medium tip ml for medium large pen tip and there is a heat button so you can see this heat button you have to hold the heating button to start with the heating of the tip and a beep will come out of the unit at the same time then you can release the button heating button to stop the heating and the beep stops only two seconds can the tip reach the working temperature so heat it and insert the tip to four to six millimeter short of the working length and that is how we use this obturation pen hold the power button then you have to use the heating button you can use one heating button or you can use both of the heating button stop the heating button and then maintain the pressure for 10 seconds to do the compaction so compaction is done via maintaining the pressure for 10 seconds of time period uh, while stopping the heating high temperature mode is recommended for this step because of too much of gutta and you can remove after heating the pen tip for one to two seconds to avoid gutta percha come out with a pen tip so as you can see you can cut the gutta percha with using this pen tip itself and the excess gutta percha has come out in this demonstration you can nicely see the cleaned pen tip after using it another way you can use this warm vertical compaction technique is using the warm pluggers but we have used obturation pen in this particular video lecture so this vertical condensation technique is going to fill the gutta percha warm the gutta percha and fill it in a three-dimensional lumen of the canal so there is a complete filling which you can appreciate over here in this image there is a three-dimensional filling of the gutta percha into the canal after using this warm vertical condensation technique forcing the gutta percha into the coronal third and either you can use a plugger or you can use a system so that is how we do a warm vertical compaction condensation technique or warm gutta percha technique given by shilder and the main advantage of using this technique is there is an excellent seal of the canal apically as well as laterally also obturation of the larger lateral and accessory canals is done using this technique but it is again a time consuming process and that is a disadvantage also there can be risk of the vertical root fracture because of the undue stresses i hope you have enjoyed this vertical condensation technique in this video so guys till then keep reading keep learning subscribe